Today we're going to be talking about solving quadratics by completing the square, but our a is not going to be equal to 1. So we're going to have a number in front of our x squared. Now if you wrote down the steps yesterday, which I made you guys do in your notes, you notice that the first step was collect all variable terms on one side and constants on the other. Step two, which we didn't do yesterday, was to divide by whatever numbers in front of the x squared. You need to divide it's because the coefficient on the x squared to complete the square has to be 1. So now we have to add in a number on the left and the right side that completes our square. So I take 8 divided by 2 and I square that. That's 4 squared 16. So I add 16 to both sides. So now what we're going to do, again, remember, we've rigged the problem. We've made it so this right side factors. I'm sorry, the left side factors. The left side is going to factor to x minus 4. Now, we square root both sides. Remembering your plus and minus. Now remember that I want you guys to write two equations. And it's hard to see, but this 5 is actually a negative in there. So we have a negative 1. So those are our two answers. Next example, again, divide every term by 3. Dividing 0 by 3 just gets a 0, so I have x squared minus 2 thirds x minus 1 third equals 0. Now I'm going to get my variables on one side and the number on the other. You could have done that first and then divided by 3, but whenever I see that 3 or a number in front of the x squared, I always just go through and divide by it first thing. Now, this is the challenging part. You need to do b, which is 2 thirds, divided by 2 squared. Remember, dividing by 2 is like multiplying by 1 half. So really, we have one ninth that we're going to be adding in to both sides. So that was a little bit challenging because of these fractions now. Okay, let's factor this guy. Again, we've made it so this is x minus, it's the square root of the one ninth or what I had in here before we squared, so it's going to be x minus 3, and then 1 third plus 1 ninth, well, 1 third is like 3 over 9, so we get 4 over 9. Now we square root both sides. Now, underneath this radical, that's going to simplify to a 2 thirds. So again, remember, we have two equations that I want you guys to write out. The positive 2 thirds 
and our negative two-thirds. Add the one-third over, and we get three-thirds, which is one. Add the one-third over, and we get negative one-third. Okay, our next example, solving that by completing the square. I don't have anything to divide by, so what we can do is we can just isolate our variables on one side, subtracting the 11 on the other, so the 11 becomes negative. Completing the square, we do 4 divided by 2 squared, so that ends up being 4. Remember to add it to both sides because it's an equation. Again, we've rigged the problem so it has to factor to a perfect square. And then on the right side we get negative 7. Now we square root both sides. So we get x plus 2 equals plus or minus square root of negative 7. Now I don't like that square root of negative 7, so what we have to do is pull out the negative 1, which is i. So we leave it like that, and then we subtract the 2 over, so I have negative 2 plus or minus i root 7. Okay, there are your lesson questions for the day. And please make sure that you're actually going through and writing this out and solving it by completing the square. Because I will look for that when I'm walking around and checking your notes. And please make sure that it's submitted on time.